What's that? What's that? You need a medic, metal man. I'm a medic. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've got a med kit on me. Nathan, follow. Where are you? Over here. So who's over here? Over with me again over here. Let's get out of the way of the lodgy guys, just over here to the right. Who was I'm following this squad, fuck it. Yeah, we, we've adopted them. They've adopted me. Okay, <coughs> right, so that uh, was, what was the what was the thing I was teaching you? Yeah, get a gas mask on, yeah. So obviously, right, if you're ever in any sort of vehicle, I always suggest have a gas mask on. Make sure you have a gas mask on. Because if you're in a vehicle and someone throws a gas nade at you, you can be killed within the vehicle, and then the enemy gets a free vehicle. So you could be driving something. You could be driving something like a tank. You could be driving a half tank. You could be driving an armored car. If they throw gas at you and you're not wearing a gas mask, you're dead, and they can steal your vehicle. And you've just handed over a vehicle loaded with whatever fuel, ammo, and everything in it to the enemy. So that's that. Hey, uh, is there any radios in here? That's the next thing to teach you. Right, there's a few radios. Grab a radio each, boys, and put one on, and I'll show you quickly how a radio... I feel like I'm learning so much. Where the fuck's the radio at, but there we go. Right, now don't put your radio on yet. Just keep it on your person in your backpack at the moment, and I'll show you in a moment here, okay? Okay, Sorry. right, so if you've got your radios with you, press the M button for your map, okay? And you notice these sort of like white circled highlighted areas? No. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, those white, white highlighted areas are radar. That is, that's telling you sensor range. So usually, if you don't oh, have yeah. a radio on, it will... But the, basically, the idea of the white highlighted area with the radar, it gives you information of what's in that area. So, infantry or dots, uh, vehicles or triangles, uh, defences or hexagons, uh, how it's all, that's an artillery piece, is like an arrow shape, and enemy radar, I believe, or outposts or like squares, something like that, and diamond shapes. Uh, so... Put your, put your radios on now, and you will notice that you get more updated information with the radio. If you do not have a radio, it gives you very unreliable information of what's going on in the white areas. But the minute you have a radio on, it constantly updates you of everything that is moving in those areas, and you can see what's going on. This is something I heavily this. recommend anyone lovely. who's in a vehicle to have on them a radio and a gas mask first two items, the priority. Interesting. Okay, so that's some information for you boys. Plus as well, you could be fighting on the front lines and then you just look at your map for a second and you can see some <coughs> of the areas to the north, right? So the front line right now, I'm going to assume it is down at K10 currently on that bridge. That'll be probably quite a hot zone, that area. Right? Now what you may notice is you could be fighting down there and you've got a radio on. Do you see that uh, out, that little radar range at K8, the sort of K8, J8 sort of area mixed into 7? By the finger? Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you see that white area there? That's a radar range that's just there, right? So you could be fighting down at the bridge and then you see some a large group of green dots go past that area. I know, I was just thinking that. Well, you have your radio on. That is showing you that there's an enemy raid about to start happening. They're either about to flank you, or they're about to go into the back line and start messing up your lodgy. So that's information to be aware of there, boys. Hmm. You can watch so many enemy movements just with radar range alone, and it's a very useful thing not to underestimate. Never okay, that so that's stuff. the radios, that's the gas masks, that's your basic weapons. There are various things to learn with all the weapons. All the weapons have their own sort of mechanics and skills to learn. There will be things that you can take up and learn. There's things to learn about grenades and all that. You've got frag grenades, which are anti-infantry. You've got HEs, which can be used for anything, but they detonate on impact. You can cook grenades by holding in the left click to throw them. 
Uh, you've got gas grenades, which are pretty simple. You throw them at an enemy location and a big cloud of gas opens up. And anyone not wearing a gas mask will be killed within about a second and a half. Okay, you've also got the HEs, which are really the HEs as I mentioned. They are very good at dealing with tanks and armoured vehicles. If you can get close enough to deal with them with it. They're also very good for taking down structures, enemy buildings, enemy defences. Uh, you can also get, what's the other types of grenades I'm trying to remember? Smoke grenades. So smoke grenades, if you throw a smoke grenade in front of an enemy defence, the, the enemy's defence will be heavily nerfed. Meaning it will miss you a hell of a lot. And if you stand in the smoke, like I'll show you in a moment, if there's a smoke grenade here. No, there is no smoke grenades here because this base is fucking barely fucking supplied. Oh, right. I might do something. <laughs> oh, cheers, Kurtz, mate. Cheers. That's Kurtz, by the way. He's a really great guy. Nice. Right, so basically, Thanks, if you a smoke grenade down, you can kind of guess. You do a fucking ninja sort of fucking thing with it, you disappear into the smoke. You'll be fucking uh, Batman sorry, for a moment. we're gonna have to be Charlie. about four minutes on the demonstration. Yeah, no problem, mate. I'm Thank almost you. done. I'm almost ready to roll out here with these boys. With these oh, boys. Awesome. But boys, I'm sort of giving you as much infantry training Thanks. as possible. There's another quick thing I want you to do is to learn how to squad up. Do you know how oh, to yeah. squad up? No. 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 Okay, right. So if you press F1, I can do it if you want. Do you see there at the very right hand Shit, side you've got the squad? Bucket, yeah. yeah. Which is like a little white icon with all your things. Okay, right, so Sentinel. Yeah. Right, I want yeah. you to tap on that that's beside your name. So find your name and then tap on it. Connor, what's my name in this? M N W B. Right. And then it will ask you Shut if you want to create a name. squad. It says I can't my rank's too low. Oh, well, your rank is too low. Okay, right. Well, I, I can think do it's it. when you no, get to Corporal and above, so... Yeah. To get to Corporal and above, you need people to commend you. I'll show you quickly how to commend people in a moment. Connor, how's he disabled well, the chat? you can actually do it by just pressing F1 uh, and C beside their name with the arrow up. You can commend it? people. I can't remember, if I'm <laughs> honest. So, commending people is a nice way of saying, well done, guys, that was nice, you deserve a thumbs up, essentially. And that increases your overall rank in the brackets. So you do nice things, you do things people like, uh, people will give you commends for it, and your rank will go up. It's kind of a showing of how nice a guy you are, or how well you've done the game, or well, if you're a nice lady, it's not if, you've, very gender inclusive, if you're quite isn't experienced it? as well, because you've got a rank number on the left for your experience level, and then you've got your commend level as well. Commend level just shows how much of a contribution you make that people like. Okay, so that's the idea of that. So. I'll set a squad up and I'll send you an invite in a moment and I'll teach you the bare basics of fucking squad and I'll invite. Where is the, my fucking name? Oh, yeah, you invited me, Connor? I invited everyone. I've not got it. Oh, I was going to say, I've got a Oh, is that you there? It says, uh, I can't commend anybody. Yeah, you need to be at a certain level. I think I see. No, you have to. You level. have to already have commands available. Well, oh, it's, no, it's, right. not really, it's not really. It's not really a someone. level. It's not really a level. It's that you earn commends by doing things. Logi is one of the best ways to earn I commends think. because Fuck you're not just metal man, right? Here. Should okay. I show him this squad? Hey, shut up, four, three, four. He's helping. Hey man, uh, one moment. I dare say it's in danger. Uh, Connor, how do you? What do you say? Squad? One moment. I dare say it's in danger. Me kill. Uh, our base is uh, always in danger. Mount. So identify your names to me so I can uh, invite you. Is that how? Sentinel Greg. I just left it. If he's going to leave it, bread. Just go on it and leave. How? I don't know how. Uh, hit F1 and then click on the three uh, people. Smokes put down in 30 seconds. The three people? Yeah, oh, yeah, see the wee three, three people, Sentinel, click on that and just hit leave. Sentinel needs one, don't you? Yep. Sentinel Brig. I'm okay. needing one. Who, who else was it as well? MNWB94. MNWB94. Cheers, right. mate. Nay, boar bud. Your fellow Scotsman? You said J, I think. Ah, yeah, both myself and uh, Emmy Avenger are. 
Ah, uh, you uh, used to buddies. Aye. All right. Uh, Kill Nick needs one, yeah, because he's not on the. He's not got a mic right now that works. Uh, Kill another neck. Am I right in saying that they've st they're still doing the um, like the system where you have to like go up and manually select like your spawn point as well? Uh, yeah, well, you need to do that, yes, but um, when you're in a base, basically, see if you go to the map and do you see the star? That uh, is considered I... the home. Yeah, uh, that's considered the home base on the map. Currently, we're in one of the home regions for Father, the Wardens, so this is our yeah, oh, base. This is one of our further main on HQ. We're literally on You've it. got one in oh. Callahan. Got one in Weathered. Okay. <laughs> So they, these are the main places where you can produce all the gear and then you can ship yourself out to go to places. Whereas when you're on like some of the middle maps or the enemy maps, the star will just be a town hall that we took first, essentially. And there you'll have unlimited spawns in that area. But uh, in order to set your spawn at another base, you'll have to travel to that town and then uh, go a uh, set spawn on it. In the actual action bar at the bottom, you can actually see it here what in the uh, port base. Nice. Oh, is that's that grenades? Grenade. That's not grenades. There, I got them out for you. Okay, let me get that. Right. So, do you see at the bottom where it says actions? You can set your spawn here. The uh, little yeah. uh, house. Up. So, when you're out at a town near the front line or a fob that's uh, currently being used for that, that's where you can set your spawn. The thing is though, in order to spawn at that fob, that uh, fob or town hall needs to have shirts in it, also known as uh, S supplies. Right, See, so that's a little lesson there on how things like that work. Is. Oh, also I've got the smoke grenades here. Well, I'm going to medic anyway. I'll yeah. show you how they operate. Right, I've got you a can sort of see the fog of war it creates as you're in it. No, no, just don't so, over... Oh, load no, yourself. A, what, disappear them? Right. Shit, I don't want to do the smoke Yep, then. you won't see someone unless you bump right into them. Yeah, that's all I saw, you know? Oh shit, yep. that's fucking amazing, so, that. I never knew that. Imagine <laughs> for a moment... Ah, uh, we had imagine moon, for a moment. fucking forgot. Yeah, so imagine for a moment you're about to do a bayonet charge. Imagine you throw one of them into the enemy, and then you just charge in and you start stabbing people in the smoke. Oh. I've done that Typical. before to people who are in tanks who have gotten out to repair. You throw a smoke grenade at them, they think, oh, I'm going to be safe here. And next thing you know, you charge up and you stab them. Typical night in Glasgow then, eh? Pretty much, mate. <laughs> uh, I noticed it also means you can't see anybody outside, which is really... Yeah, it's one, of those, it's one of those things, mate. You can see things, but you can't see things as well. Yeah. But oh, the, we are these... Exactly? Uh, we are in... Old, old Isomyth, up the top left on the map. Man, where are we? Uh, Moorin County. Top left. Yeah, let's take this from, let's take this from those goddamn commies. <laughs> okay. So damn <laughs> the, coll the collies are meant to be is American as fuck, but you know. So if they're American, what does that make us? Yeah, yeah. Where the French fascists? Germans. Okay. Nearly. But I don't even know if you can call us fascists because we're the ones being invaded, apparently, according to their story. Yeah, but Unless we used to own this whole land, remember? Uh, it's a made up. Is, it, is there an actual story to this? Based I don't know, just World War II looking yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's a lore to it, but oh. anyway, I've not fully explored it. It's on their wiki sort of thing. Hmm. Interesting. But, uh, In a nutshell, uh, they are the bad guys and we are the good guys, and you fucking kill them, man. Let's go. Yeah, basically. basically. <laughs> Right, so is everyone oh, in the squad here? Yeah. Everyone in the squad does judge my I think I am. Hey guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not actually going anywhere for a while. Okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Soon, but... Who's the other one there? Was it Judge Master? Did I give you an invite? I think you did, mate. Do we want to just make uh, our own, like, logic truck and then run ourselves up then? Well, that was the next thing we were going to do, though. We're going to get ourselves a vehicle, so let's have a look at what's available and what's in the boat base right now. Do we have any B mats? No, we do not have yeah, a single B fucking B. Oh, God. All right. I guess this is a quick lesson here on how to do B mats. Yeah. So grab no yourselves a sledgehammer. Get the hammers out, guys. Obviously, as well, boys, no matter mentioned about the weight system, if you press, if you see up the top left, you've got a white bag. That means by yours, it's quite heavy. If you are red, then you're over encumbered. You can see your weight level at the top right when you press tab for the percentage. 
you can remove bits of kit that you don't need in order to lessen the weight. <coughs> and before you ask, no, the sledgehammer is not a weapon yet. Oh. Yo, yo, wait, wait, the, the K Teddy, K Teddy, gun come with us. Oh, one slide yeah, anyway. Going, yeah. yeah, come yeah, here. Going. Hello. Anyone who wants a front line, um, I've still got two more slots. If you're not, you know, in the the school of metal man. Uh, I'm just the metal I'm school. Just, I'm a metal man. man. Okay, right. So anyone else who's going to do it here? So let's quickly right. go down to the scrap yard and gather some scrap for ourselves. Okay, so that we this will give you a quick basic lesson on how to produce things, Bill. Okay, so the very first material that is probably the most used in the game is the scrap, the scrap fields, basic materials of scrap. I would never have guessed so, going on the scrap fields with that's the scrap. a scrap node over there, but this guy's uh, been collecting everything, I'm assuming he's filling these boxes. Yeah, he's filled these boxes full of BMATs, but basically use your sledgehammer to collect these. Or you can use your little hammer that you spawn with to collect them, but the sledgehammer is a lot faster. Okay. So tell us when you've all got each a bit of scrap. Doesn't matter how much you've got this long. Okay. Build a tire. Has everyone got a bit of nope. scrap on? No, yet. no really. Yep. Okay, everyone who's got a bit of scrap stand over here by me. Everyone else who doesn't, just go and get a bit of scrap. Okay. Is there a system that spawns the scrap or is that just random? Is so it, somebody it's, just, have to it's just a respawner. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Scrap nodes, get a bit of scrap uh, if you uh, <laughs> Okay, have you all got scrap now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you've all got scrap now, leave the guy to do his work again and move back into the base. Okay, you also notice that scrap is quite heavy. So, over here, boys, to the refinery. So over here at the refinery. Slow. This is the refinery corner. Yeah, yeah it's because you uh, probably I've lost you, so I don't know where you went. <laughs> um, through the gate and then turn left. So, do you okay. see at the very top the screw icon? It says scrap. Yeah, Hit the right click just... on that in order to donate all your scrap into one go. And if you do that, you will notice it makes B mats. So there's a quick lesson on how to get yourselves materials here. Now, just a quick lesson as well, you've also got the component yards, which look like uh, tanks that you can go up and you hit with a sledgehammer. You can only collect it with a sledgehammer. So components take a lot longer to make, and sulphur, oh god me, that takes fucking ages. That will take you an age in order to make it, but basically one stack of... Uh, a hundred sulphur, I believe it is. It's something like an hour it takes to cook. Oh, hell. And sulphur turns into explo explosive oh, materials God, which can be used to make grenades and such. So, it'll be a so over here, boys, if you wanted to a produce like, any sort of weapons or that, you've got the factory here. If uh, we can get close to the factory, any chance you can back up a little with that, mate. Or go around. Yeah, just go around, boys. Go around. He's a picked 70. So the factory here, you can see all the different types of things that you can make here. Right. And it, as you hover over it, the cost of it. You can queue up to four things at once in a single queue, queue of something. And it will tell you on the right the time it will take before it's ready. And then you can come co collect it. Ooh, I've got the fucking hiccups now. So when you have made something and it's ready to churn out. If, say, like, say, you leave it there for more than half an hour, it will just spit out into the factory's slots and someone else will take it. So, have you all made BMATs? Have you produced anything there? Or are you just uh, holding on to your BMATs? Hodding on. I'm just holding on, on. yeah. Okay. How do you okay. make the uh, remover find metal? Uh, you need to get components. You, if you press M, and look on your map for the nut sign. Well, there's actually a tank yard up here now. Come up here, boys. Show sure, that quickly if I can reach it. Can I, uh... No, you'll have to Where get out the building to get it, but it's over yeah. here, boys. Do right you see this you. over here? Do you see those tanks over there? Oh. 
Yep, you see those old wrecked tanks over there? Basically you go up to them and you hit them with your sledgehammer and you collect the components from it. You can get up to 90 from a full scrap yard. From a full uh, component yard. And as you do that, obviously you put them into the refinery to cook again, but they can take up to about half an hour to cook. So oh, uh, if you've still got your B-mats on you, I'll just show you quickly over here how to make your own vehicles. Nice beautiful. Oh, over course, to the vehicle factory. Mm, I mean, I've, I know what I'm doing, but I'm just following these guys. Oh, I never knew the thing about the smoker then, like all the radios. Aye. Right now, you're ready to pull this out. Yes, no, maybe. Are you going to move this armoured car, please? No? Okay. Right, move or I'll... Wait a minute, let me see. Can I actually get in it? Is this your armoured car, mate? No? Okay. Uh, right, so that needs fuel in order to move that. But we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so over here to this other vehicle factory, boys, just down here. With the southern one. Is someone using it? No. Okay. So if you press E to access it, and you'll see there the types of vehicles that are available to use. Now, nobody's been bothered to cook blueprints in order to make new vehicles here. So the only thing you can make here is either a half-track, a bike, or a, uh, a truck. How do you make blueprints? I will show you that in a moment. Fuck off, Judge want. Master. You're the type guy's talking. Sounds like the type of guy I just finish up doing the, learning place. how to make a vehicle lesson. So Excuse someone homework. get a vehicle starting to be made here. Get a truck made. There we go. Right, everyone get your hammers out and start whacking at the truck. Usually it's best to have three people on it, otherwise you waste resources. So just three people there now. Only three. Okay. Let them build away. And the, the other three come out here. Just come out here there now. Well, let's see about this over here. Is this one open over here again? Or is that still in there? Okay, that armoured car needs to be moved. Right, over here boys. Just stay uh, with the boys at the truck there now. Okay, there's no fuel here. We're going to need to get some fuel in a moment. We'll go collect that in a second, boys. Do you want to start going and get the fuel? How much have you got to go? There we go. Right, so that's that one ready to go. Okay, boys. So, obviously, when you're at your truck, go to the side of it. You can press Q to get in. While you're in a certain seat, you can switch seats by pressing Z. Okay? While you're in the vehicle, right, if you're the driver, you want to lock your vehicle. Not my missing corner, any good nuggets of information? No, here? but I'm going to have to go. I need to go get Kirsty. Oh, I'm distressed. You're going to be All back right. on later on when you're back. I might be. Uh, to I'll see how I'll see how it is, alright? Fingers crossed, dude. I shall see you later on, alright? Till till later, mate. Have a good one, all the best, pal. See you later, mate. If someone gets into your vehicle, like unlock your vehicle, then, right? So say, like, say you're in here, now, right? You've just jumped out. So say, like, say I'm an enemy who's sitting in your side seat, and you've just jumped out. Guess what I can do, right? Jump out the vehicle. Right? So, you have just jumped out of the vehicle, and I'm an enemy who's still in your vehicle. Guess what I'm going to do? Eh, I'm stealing your trunk, mate. Drive off with it. So easy to do. That's one thing, boys, if he's going to take a lesson away, make sure you lock your vehicles. Now, another thing I want you to do, come over here to this side here. Quickly, everyone, everyone, over here, the sides of the vehicle. Right? Now you can access the vehicle by pressing E to look inside it. Okay? Now do you see an option at the bottom that says assign to squad? Right? Yeah. That's you made it that now nobody can take anything out of that unless they're in your squad. And another thing as well is, if you get in the vehicle, right, and I lock the vehicle, every one of you should be able to get into this vehicle now. Go, get in the vehicle. Everyone uses in the squad, get in the vehicle they're now. In the back, in the sides, wherever you need to be. Right? Notice how you can get in. If this wasn't assigned to squad, you would not be able to get in this vehicle. Other side, bread, other side. 
So again, this is information overload, boys, but obviously I have to stress these things to you. Because it is so easy for people just to come up and steal your shit off you. Especially if it's another player who doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, boys, let's go get some fuel. Because we're going to need fuel over here. So come this way. Come on down okay. through the gate that arrows over there. Alright. Got the fuel barrel. The okay, just go, just go. Go down. Okay, get your sledgehammer and start whacking at this to get some fuel out. Okay, give it a second and they'll respawn. Okay. We got some little boys, take it back. This is a perfect way to spend your Friday night, eh? <laughs> Learning how to play a bloody game. <laughs> Wrong vehicle, Judge. Wrong vehicle. We're taking the truck down here. Because we're doing a transport mission. Ah, oh, I've just pinched this one of these half tracks. Nah. So, there you go, boys. Access the vehicle. Toss in the fuel. You want to put the fuel in the truck still, yeah? Or not the half track? Uh, just, just put them in the trucks and then they will. I'll teach you the half track. You want to go in a half track crew. Okay, so he's all got fuel in there. Probably you want about a hundred at the very least. But if you're in a vehicle, right? So someone get in the driver's seat. Someone get in the driver's seat. Make sure you aren't encumbered. While you're in the driver's seat, do you notice the white bar at the top left? Yes, I do. Right, so that's telling you how much fuel you got left. So do you notice this when I start taking some fuel out? Uh, it starts going down. Yep. If it's full, that means by you have at least one stack of 100 fuel in there. You can fill it up as much as you want. You can have a whole fucking 1500 fuel in it and just go for miles if you wanted. That's just a little bit of uh, news there for you. Okay, boys, we're pretty much ready to roll out. How many guys have we got here? In total, if it's, who's all here? Me. Oh no, yeah, so we're talking about, what, six people in total? Yeah, six people in total. Yeah. Okay, so let's roll the vehicle up towards the HQ and let's see what we need to take with us. Alright, mate. The thing's walking, I don't... Doesn't make sense to Hey uh, boys, it's time to get your load out sorted, deciding on what you want to do with the ready, whether you want to be a rifleman or an SMG or a shotgunner, uh, yeah. whatever type of load out you're planning that to go with, just make sure you have a gas trees. mask on, and whatever types of weapon and a couple of clips of ammunition for it. Okay, that's how you load out, get rid of any other crap you don't need. Hello, Mint. Great type, it's there's Lord Metal Man is teaching like basic stuff, so I think just talk to him and he will do good that good, I'm good, good, good job. Okay, if you aren't carrying it, if you aren't doing it now, just get rid of your sledgehammers and that the now, make sure you free up some weight if you've got too much weight on you, start getting rid of some things. Oh by the way, you wanted to learn how to do blueprints, I can show you that right now over here. Come to the tech centre very quickly. Yeah, boys, so obviously Tech Center, I'll teach you quickly what this is for. This is the tech tree in the game. This is where you can... Yeah, this is where basically all our technology comes from in the game. So if you find tech parts, you take them into the refinery, you can come into research parts. And then you take them here in order to unlock the new technology in it. So you can scroll on it to see how far along the tech tree we are. We are very late game in the war, we're about to unlock tanks probably by tomorrow, I'm going to assume, or some point later in the morning. 
Uh, I'm going to probably say sometime tomorrow, thanks, will come unlocked, and that's when you'll see Saturday night is usually the big night for everyone coming on, and that's where it's an all-out war. So, to do blueprints, basically, do you see the bits that have got a B at the bottom right of them? If you see the B in the bottom yeah. right of them, they, they can produce blueprints for them. They're an item that's requiring blueprints in order to be made. So, basically, you'll need scrap to make blueprints at the bottom can see a blueprint uh, queue. You can queue up to three sets of blueprints and then hit the print button. So if you've got enough scrap, you can uh, make blueprints of vehicles and uh, basically weapons and such and equipment, special equipment. When you have made your blueprints, basically you will take them to the factories and the both the factories of the vehicle and the actual factory factory and you'll see at the very bottom actions it says submit blueprints this will take any blueprints that are in your backpack down into the thing and it will make it available to be created in that factory I think each uh, factory blueprints make about three uh, versions of the kit which allow you to, be ta to take it with you so boys, have you all got your loadout sorted? We're ready to move to the front lines if yous are all ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to put any uh, RPGs or anything in the trucks for us? or we go? That's what I was thinking. I need to check the stockpile and see what is available. If you bring the vehicle over here, mate. MB, is it? What's the name of them? MWB? Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Over here, then. So yeah, there's stuff here that we can take, but it's not really that great of stuff. Okay, so while you're over here, over here mate, over here, come here, come here, bring the vehicle over here. Right, actually get as close to the storehouse as you can. Turn that around, turn that around, turn that way you're facing it with the vehicle. Okay boys, clear the storehouse way, clear the storehouse way, let the guy move. Right, do you notice as you get close you can press E? Without getting out of your vehicle you can press E? Uh, yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Yep, you can access it now. And you can take stuff and put it in your vehicle. Now, being in a vehicle and taking stuff out of port bases and all that is a lot better for yourself because if you right click it you can get three times the amount of stuff in one go. So say like so you're trying to fill up like a weapon full of ammunition and all that, you can just right click it to get three times the amount out very quick. It's a very useful thing. Now obviously as well we need to take uh, stuff and put it into this vehicle in order to take to the front. So let's have a look at what the front's got. Where is the front line? Uh, got the north. Oh boy the north is under heavy attack. Where is it coming from? Well, bugger it. Uh, take a crate of rifles. Take a crate of rifle ammo. Uh, take a crate of gas masks. Frags. Uh, HEs. Uh, a grenade launcher. Med kits, trauma kit. I don't know those are You could take them with the shotgun, and the shotgun ammo is also another choice. Well, there's well, there's over ammo as well. Okay, so are you taking the stuff out yet and putting it in? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just left click it, mate, in order to get them quickly because there's only like one box of each you're taking. But if you're taking three boxes, a different story. Yeah, you took three boxes of gas masks. <laughs> First aid kits, yep. Oops. So, nah, don't worry about it, there. Right, get a box of revolvers and the revolver ammo, get those in there. You'll need them for the medics. Right, so you've got a first aid kit. Let's get a set of trauma kits if there's any trauma kits down the bottom of it. No, I don't think there's any trauma kits. Scroll down. Ah. Very bottom. Oh, you took two sets. Okay, that'll do. Uh, take one set of wrenches, so one wrench box. 
Okay, so box trauma kits, box trauma kits, box of wrenches. What else is left here? Uh, take uh, take the HEs, which is the high explosive HE grenade. Take those with us. Right. HE grenades are nice there. So have you got both sets of HE grenades? I believe I do, let me check. If you've got shot, Ben, I'll happily take them. There we go. Right, I've took those B, those B mats out. Take the shotguns and the shotgun ammo that's left. Just do a left click on them. Now we're probably going to need more people in order to do this. But what the hell? What captains are that in here? Right, Captain, my boy, what the fuck are you doing? Malanash. Your ball bag, what you up to? Intruding on my lesson here. Ah, has he got a mic? I don't think he does. Okay, you've got a full Logi truck. Excellent, that's ready to go and we're ready. Now, are these three guys going to be coming as well? Yes, no, yes, maybe, maybe, don't know. Okay. Oh no, so one, of, one of them is out, one of them is out. Is it? Oh, which one's that? That's one of the others, it's loaded up, is it ready to go? Oh, this one's here. It's the only thing you need to fuel for it. Okay, so we need to get some fuel for this motherfucker. Okay, we're going to take a half track with us as well. May as well take a half track with us and we'll do a half track group. We need some fuel. Oh, wait, no, actually, fuck the half track, it's going to take ages. Fuck it, let's just get another truck and get ourselves down. Yeah, probably a good idea. Get an half a truck and we'll get down there. What's an half truck? There's an half truck here. Any trucks here? Any trucks here? Good, good, good. Ah, okay. Don't need to build on it. Okay, so someone get some fuel for the truck. I'm going to get us an half truck. Oh, I'm gonna go. <coughs> to be honest. Okay, go get a fuel. Sorry, I'm boy, feeling it's like taking this long. It's just because you need you know, some prep before you normally it was move out of places, especially if you're going to take things like half track and all like that. An actual like combat mission. Essentially, we're just going to be rolling up as much in the new because we're just trying to follow Lord Metal Man around um, and just kind of listen to what he's had to say. So it's been a good wee refresher even for myself. So if you've watched this video, uh, thanks very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, sorry if it was the kind of problem that you were expecting. Um, but hopefully now you know a wee bit more about how to play Foxholes. Why are you making um, so many artworks? Thanks for tuning in to the next episode. Um, we're going to be deploying out, get a wee what? bit of action under no, our belts, to... <laughs> um, get a wee battle of battle okay, experience. Okay, half track ready. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video guys, okay, I'll see you later on, all the best. Take Let's care, move this bye bye. Forward a little bit.